everybody. It is Easter Sunday, April 2019, and I am here in Arizona for round two of the reptile catching episode. I made a video last year. I caught some really cool stuff, but I didn't catch a male eastern collared lizard. But this time, I'm going to go to some places where I know there's supposed to be very, very good collared lizard populations. And I mean, check how scenic this, this area is. You got a nice wall, trailer. I'm being sarcastic, of course. We're in the middle of a little city um, heading out towards the countryside. But the reptiles are here as well. I caught my very first Arizona Lizard 2019. I believe this is a little ornate tree lizard, like I caught last year. Um, it might be a long-tailed brush lizard, not positive. Gorgeous little specimen, little bit of green under his throat. Pretty faint, very cool little lizard. Gonna... There he goes. First lizard, very cool catch. The family's waiting for me, so I gotta get going. We're gonna have a good week. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but that's the sound of the toads. Which I will attempt to catch. What's going on everybody? Today is the second day of the trip. Last night I told you guys I was going to go try to catch those toads. Um, the thing about that was there's an island out in the middle of the lake that I couldn't see at night. And that's where all those toads were. So I walked a big circle around the lake thinking, oh, they're right over there. And then once I got over there, oh, they're back where I just were. What just happened? And finally, after shining my light there, I realized there's a there's an island in the middle of the lake with toads on it that I can't get to. So that's why I could hear them, but I couldn't get to them. And um, anyway, I did some fishing, and I decided not to film this morning in case I actually, and until I actually caught something. And I'm fishing for pike, but this is my first ever Arizona fish. This is a little largemouth bass, little squeaker, not real big, and you can see why they're called largemouths, because they can engulf some pretty big lures. Now, so, anyway, just first ever little Arizona fish, right there, you can kind of see a trail of bubbles leading to where I hooked them, I saw a big old swell, I thought it might be my very first pike, but very cute little fish, tiny little guy, but hey, it's a start. I'm so excited. So I identified this as an eastern fence lizard. Um, pretty common species. I've seen a lot of them around here. Really blue belly compared to a lot of the ones we've seen further um, further north. The ones that I'm used to. Very bright blue belly. And two throat blue throat patches that are pretty widely separated. But it's really bright blue on his stomach. I thought he was a striped plateau lizard, but he's definitely not. Because those are not even found here. Anyway, cool find. And release this little guy. Pretty calm. Well, that's my first, uh, first for Arizona in 2019. First lizard I've actually, my first new species encounter, I should say. Um, which is a great start. So this, this meteor crater. Arizona, and you can see how much lower the ground is right there. This is pretty cool. We went on a guided tour all along that rim, and although I couldn't catch it, I saw my very first male eastern collared lizard. I couldn't catch it, I couldn't take a video because it's pretty far, but I got some decent pictures that I'll try to Photoshop in over this video. So I think you guys like to see what Meteor Crater Arizona looks like. Pretty cool. Um, it's a mile across, and we're gonna go down there, some of those lands, and hopefully run into some more. Canyon to Shea now. Um, Canyon to Shea campground. I'm just shining my light here. And I came out here looking, and it rained a little bit. Let me start off with that. It rained a little bit, and the rain 
as I'm hoping, brought out some critters. Um, I flipped over this rock, and I'm not sure if you guys can see anything here. Let me turn off my headlamp and turn on my black light. Now do you see something? Little scorpion. It's amazing how well the black light brings it out. I, I thought I lost him. And uh, so I just took out my black light and turned it on. And uh, I've heard, and I don't know how true this is, but he just sticks out like a sore thumb. I've heard that depending on how big their pinchers are, you can tell how toxic they are. Uh, venomous. Because if they've got big pinchers, they use the pinchers to kill their prey. But if they've got little pinchers, that means that they use their venom to kill their prey. And this guy's got pretty tiny little pinchers. So I'm guessing he's one of the more toxic ones. So I'm not going to pick this guy up. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen me pick up scorpions in other videos. I'm going to pass on this one. There's some pretty toxic scorpions in Arizona. And I would not be at all surprised if this could be one of them. So, pretty cool. Um, I think that's my first scorpion I've ever found in Arizona. And just compare how much he sticks out now and now. Blends in really well now. You can do a little combo of both. So, you know, pretty cool. But uh, that's pretty neat. It rained a little bit, like I said, so we might actually find some toads out here tonight. I'm, not... I'm walking back down the road, and this is what I find. Chubbs, the toad, stretched out. I almost walked right past him. This is awesome. My very first Arizona amphibian. Ooh, he doesn't really like me. Come here. Come back here, bud. This is pretty cool. This is a huge toad, by the way, guys. Look how big this guy is compared to my hand. He's pretty cute, honestly. His big old bug eyes. I think this is a woodhouse toad. Um, there's a lot of different amphibian species in Arizona. Um, but I picked up this handy dandy little guide to the of the Colorado Plateau. Woodhouse's toad. Up to five inches. Uh, yeah, so I'm thinking this is a uh, Woodhouse Toad, they're the ones with the kind of white stripe down the back, and that's what he's got. He's got a little white stripe down his spine. So pretty cool. Hey, buddy. <laughs> he hit the camera, and he got a big smudge on it. Dang. Toads do have warts, and contrary to popular belief, they do not give you warts just by handling them. I'm going to have to hold this guy. They've got a big old gland behind the eyes. That is called a paratoid gland. And that's where the poison comes out. Um, toads do breed in the springtime. They find a breeding pool and they they use it. The females uh, lay eggs and the males fertilize them. Um, and these guys will eat just about anything they can. You know, smaller smaller amphibians, small reptiles, birds, if they can find birds. But I mean, these guys are just so cute. I love them. Pretty cool. I'm gonna let them go back here on the road where I caught him. He's probably out here soaking up heat. Um, really, really, they don't have sticky toe pads. They have little claws, not really toe pads. So I'm going to let him shuffle away there. Okay, buddy, it's okay. See, he's kind of just falling up. He feels like he's cornered. It's okay. All right, I'm going to let him go now. He's getting pretty stressed. This this guy's definitely a western, or a woodhouse's toad. Sorry, woodhouse's. Because he's got two little ridges right there on his head. Between his eyes. Second toad of the night. Hey, buddy. Hey. He's puffing himself up. Hey, buddy. Big old fat chubber. <laughs> Hoping I'll find some exotic, more exotic toad species that I've never come across before because I've found these guys before. I know these guys. Hey there. Well, he's just sitting right in the middle of this trail here. So, toad number three. Another little woodhouse toad, toad number four. So this is what Canyon de Chez looks like. Pretty cool. Still occupied by some of the Navajo people. Today is almost, I'm sitting here, I'm getting almost uncomfortably hot, which is very, very encouraging for the lizard species. Okay, we found an eastern call of lizard. I'm gonna go try to catch it. Did you see back right about there, okay?
Very first male eastern color lizard. Oh man, this is such a beautiful lizard. Colors on this bad boy. Look how beautiful that is. <laughs> Look at that dinosaur. Kids. So he started to run away, but he ran right into the noose and caught himself. So, look at the colors on that bad boy. About 13 or 14 inches long. Wow. Look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. I heard that they weren't here. I asked somebody and they said, no, there's no collared lizards here. There's collared lizards here. My very first male eastern collared lizard with green coloration. They said they were more south in more southern areas than this, but not apparently not. This guy doesn't have a very yellow head. So this, let me tell you a little bit about these lizards. These guys can become bipedal if they want to. They've got a really, really aggressive attitude. He's latched onto me. These guys can bite hard enough to draw blood. I'm just holding onto his leg so I can show you his body. They've got kind of yellow hands, and when they're more dominant, the males develop yellow heads. Um, and I've been wanting to catch one of these guys for probably eight or nine years now. Um, so I'll just let them hold on to my hand there. They're called collared lizards, of course, because they've got that yellow collar, or the black and white collar there. Um, they get about 13 or 14 inches long, and these guys prey on lizards. And they've got those very, very powerful jaws in order to eat other lizards. Hi there, buddy. And um, he sees the camera, and he Whoa. doesn't really like that very much. These guys are native to the Arizona and Colorado and lots of other parts of the southwest. And this guy's really not letting go of me. He's, um, I don't really care because it doesn't, oh man, he drew blood a little bit. Ooh. It's okay, it doesn't hurt at all. They're not poisonous, so I don't have to worry about it. And these guys, when they run, they can become bipedal using this long tail for balance and um, capable of running on their hind legs and catching other lizards. These guys are predators of the Southwest. This, this has got to be the coolest lizard I've ever caught. And I'm super excited to be able to share it with you guys on my YouTube channel. Just look how, look how cool this guy is. This is no, awesome. I think he's becoming more comfortable. I, I don't think so. He looks pretty angry. <laughs> and notice they've got kind of yellow stripes. These are green and yellow colored lizards. They're super pretty. And they're related to the Great Basin colored lizard that we have in um, Nevada. So I'm going to take him up there and let him go. We're going to get some still pictures of him, Sagey, if you want. And um, then we'll let him go. This has made this entire trip so, so cool. Guys, this is, this is blowing my mind. I'm so excited. All right, let's go get some cool pictures. We're rolling. So we got some good still shots. I am so happy. He's so pretty. I love these guys. All right, time for the release. Chinle. So, so this is little plateau fence lizard. I think it's pretty much the same as the eastern fence lizard that we caught earlier. But that is a really beautiful little creature. There we go. So I just caught a little plateau striped whip tail. It's kind of a blue tail. This guy I hadn't tried to noose him like five times and finally I managed to actually get the noose to stick. Really granular little scales. Um, very fast, very jumpy. This one was actually very cooperative, but the noose just didn't work very well. So that, I think that's a first for me. Pretty little lizard. Cool. This is what you call a collared lizard snack, aka the common side blotch lizard, so aptly named because of its dark spot behind his arm. Uh, this one's got kind of a blue and red underside of his neck. Little male. Pretty little spots. Got him right here on this rock. My hand because they're pretty hard to noose.
Thursday morning, I think. And I'm talking quietly because I have located a collared lizard on this rock. Beautiful male collared lizard. Up here a little ways. I'm just going to slowly try to approach and catch him. I don't know if you can see him. He's a blue speck on that rock there. Try to approach him nice and slow. She's gorgeous. I got him guys, I got him, no way, this is awesome. Second male collared lizard ever, right here, and this guy's a bit bigger than the one I caught yesterday, ow! Okay, yeah, he really not, not really wanted to let go, but neither am I. This guy's got a lot greener arms than the one I caught yesterday. Not so much yellow, look at that lizard there. Usually when I do this, I bring gloves. I have a gloved hand so it doesn't draw blood, but I didn't bring it this time. I'm not quite sure why I didn't. I guess I just wasn't thinking, you know, but... Oh well, what can you do, right? I noticed him because he stuck out like a sore thumb sitting right there on the top of that rock. Well, I don't know how long he wants to do this. Just hang in there. <laughs> hang in there off my hand. Um, this guy's been eating well. He got a big old fat side. Probably got a whip tail or something in there. The noose is off of him. Actually, it's in his mouth. <laughs> Man, such soft scales. Such sharp teeth. <laughs> Beautiful yellow stripes. Man, such a pretty lizard. Look at the underside. This guy's a lot bluer than the one I caught yesterday. The one I caught yesterday was more green. This guy's got quite a bit more blue. Still got that yellow though on him. This one's got a little bit more yellow on his face. Oh yeah, I'm bleeding. <laughs> oh, I love it. I don't even mind. Such a pretty lizard. Now, they're, of course, they're called collared lizards because they have that very characteristic color. This one doesn't extend all the way. But it's got some blue under his throat. And I don't know if you can tell, but I'm starting to get some red around my finger. Dang, buddy. Okay, I got him. He got blood on his lips now. Look at my finger. Look at that lizard. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm not trying to taunt him. I just wanna I just wanna show you guys how aggressive they are. That is awesome. Alright, I'm gonna get my other camera, which has a better close-up. Give you guys another shot at this lizard. Just with a little bit more detail. Alright, so this is with my better camera. Old Mr. Collard lizard. Big old triangular shaped head for inflicting puncture wounds. <laughs> And for crushing lizards. These guys eat a lot of other lizards in the vet, and this guy's already eaten one today. He's pretty chunky. And very round tail, not compressed uh, vertically like Great Basin collared lizards. And one thing I'd suggest everybody has if they're hunting these guys is a good pair of decent binoculars. It's very, very beneficial in, uh, you know, spotting these guys. Got a lot of blue under his under his belly there, kind of my fingers in the way, there we go, my bloody fingers in the way, awesome, awesome, hi, awesome, I'm going to let this guy go, alright, time to let him go, uh, not even moving, 